Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 30 second tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we're going to talk about the break statement in PHP. We've already seen the break statement in action once when we discussed the switch statement. I uh, told you that in order to ensure that we don't execute all cases in case a match is found between a case label and uh, the value that's passed to the switch statement, we use a break statement. And you know that is what the break statement stands for actually you know if you use it in loops then it allows you to break out of the loop without continuing with the further iterations and uh, we're going to check out a very sim simple example in in this tutorial i've got a file opened up in my text editor it's called break.php on line number six i have the opening php tag on line number 15 i have the closing php tag and then i've got a for loop statement on line number seven and uh, you know this one works with the control variable val and val initially has the value one the test condition for the loop is val is less than equal to 20 so if you know we want to loop from 1 to 20 because uh, the uh, update statement increments val by one after every iteration right but let's say you want to continue with the you know normal routine behavior till you get to the value 15 and as soon as you get to the value 15 you want to break out of the loop and you don't want to continue with iterations you know that work for val uh, values from 16 to 20 so if you want to do something like that then you know before typing in any other code and you know the regular behavior of this loop is to just display the value and uh, you know the value of the variable val on a new line in every iteration so we want to see values from 1 to 20 on different lines but as soon as we get to the value 15 we're going to break out of the loop so we're not going to see values from 16 to 20 right that's what break is going to do for us so you type in the keyword if and within parentheses you type in the test condition val equals 15 so as soon as this condition is going to value to true we're going to get inside the body of if and this statement would execute and this is not only going to get us out of the body of if but it's also going to get us out of the body of for it's going to take us somewhere here and since we don't have any more code here nothing's going to happen but you know let's say uh i want some code so i'll just uh you know get a break tag first and uh i'll type in echo we are out of the loop and uh, a semicolon i'll save the file and i'll execute it in my browser so break.php so we see values from 1 to 14 we don't even see the value uh, 15 and then we see the uh, message we are out of the loop so that is what the break statement does it gets you out of the loop whereas the continue statement skips a particular iteration so if i would have had continue here instead of break we would have just not seen the value 15 but we would have seen values from 16 to 20 and in fact let me show that to you so i'll replace break with continue i'll save the file and in the browser i'll refresh so now we see 1 to 14 and then 15 is missing and then we see 16 to 20 and then of course the statement we're out of the loop uh, is displayed but break lets you break out so and let me change this to five so in this case we'll only see numbers from one to four and then the message we are out of the loop so that's what the break statement does it's a very powerful statement you would use it not only with switch but uh, very often with loops too and uh, i hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial i'll see you in the next video in which we'll discuss something interesting and important again for sure and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already see you in the next video till then take care